Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends. And I apologize, my voice today is a little bit uh, tired, I think. I ate too much spicy food. Uh, uh, today our topic is about uh, the heaven of Allah. You know, when, uh, let us say you have an occasion, and in this occasion you invited the friends, Each one of them, he gave you a gift. One, he gave you a book. One, he gave you uh, a video game. The other one, he gave you an iPad. The other person, he gave you plant. And there is one of them, he come to you and he have a porn promise if we study the gift of each one we will know the personality of each one of them the one who gave you a book he liked education the, li the one who gave you a video game he liked games the one who gave you plants he liked plants but the one who promised you a lot of sex and a lot of women to sleep with, he like what exactly? You will notice that in the chat, the Muslims, they avoid all our topic and they ask questions which is not our topic at all because the whole idea is how we can avoid questioning our belief which is not even a belief it's just the promises of a madman trying to control a bunch of horny men and he sent them to die and he watched him from behind and I will give you an example of how the Mohammedan try to avoid our topic what is our topic is the promises of heaven what the Muslim make comment about the Holy Spirit the Muhammadan is not worried about the promises of his God to give him endless private part, but he is confused. My, my friend, you are a Muslim, you are always confused. I mean, Muhammad himself is confused. An angel came to him, told him, I am Jibreel. He gave him satanic verses. Two weeks after, Jibreel, the real Jibreel, came to him. And he said to him, Hey, Habibi Muhammad, this is not me. You are confused. This is Shaitan. So you are just a betate like your prophet, and you are always confused. So if we give you an answer, are you going to be stop confused? No, you are a Muhammadan. You are a Muhammadan who confused God by a black stone, who think God have a house, who think God is holy, but yet he promised you porn. So how confused it can be. Same time, uh, I'm really confused. How is the Comforter is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God that is with us. Why did Jesus say, we'll send you the Comforter and my Father will put his words in his mouth? Well, my friend, it's, uh, the answer is very easy. When we receive a baptism as a Christians, we are baptized by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is going to be with us. But Jesus now is talking about when he go, who is going to be with us? So we are spiritually blessed by the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit will be watching over us and he will be with us all the time. So nothing changed. You are very silly. At the same time, if we ask you about your religion, how do you become the Holy Spirit? How come you don't say I'm confused? Nowhere in the Quran it says that there is a guy, his name is Jibreel, he is an angel, he became Holy Spirit. In fact, the Quran says all angels are liars. So how you call Jibreel the Holy Spirit? No problem. You are a Muhammadan, you are a confused person. We go back to our topic. Do we have any Muhammadan here there to call me and tell me why Allah He promised us all His promises? 
all his promises is focusing in two major things sex and stomach and the rest is silly like jewelries and you know but isn't it this is what Satan supposedly he tried to tempt people with imagine somebody come to your door and he said uh, if you believe in me I will give you a lot of women to sleep with and I'm trying to be polite I don't want to use the, uh, the F word hmm? but what do you think about such a person are you going to accept him as a prophet so how you accept Muhammad before we start by the way somebody told me there is someone posting in YouTube and other forums claiming he is using Christian Prince one and you know in Google you can change the name you can make it the same and he is asking for donation I will never post and I as you know I go live and from the time I go live to the time I finish my conversation I don't mention the word donation at all so there is no way I will ask you by posting anywhere and the guy is asking to support orphans in Nigeria my friends you do not need to be genius to know that this is a scam what I have to do with the orphan somebody told you I'm running an organization I am not a priest I am not a bishop I am not a charity organization I don't have an orphan house I don't even have a cat or a dog so you do not need to be genius to know that this guy is a fraud report him flag him right away when he posts something he is a fraud like Muhammad Muhammad he claimed that he is sent by God I don't claim that God he sent me but Muhammad who claimed that he sent by God his God need a mortgage he need a donation As you see in the Quran in Christianity we do not and we cannot bribe God so giving donation does not make you a wonderful person it makes you just a Christian person who is doing what you should do but it's not what will make you go to heaven in Islam no in Islam if you go and give money to Muhammad Allah will multiply your money where in heaven that's a very good deal so please be careful if somebody posts something using my name asking for donation it is not me I will never ask you for such a thing we have our patreon but I never say go to patreon and donate I don't even say it we have it there anyone have a little sense he will understand that support is good but we don't talk about it the Muslim will not even start their video before saying go to and brother sitar please the Muslim Christian the dude the Hindu attacking Islam and we are the only one defending Islam so please go and make nothing yeah we don't do that uh, many years ago actually I wanted to open a TV station and then I asked people for donation but uh, you know the cost was very high and people cannot most of people who watch our videos are not really that worthy so we could not make it and we you know we don't ask for donation but anyway any Muslim would like to join us and tell us why all the promises of Allah is about private part I mean Muhammad he got, he went in description to the point it's very filthy and very low he even described how the penis of the man will be Did Allah told Muhammad how the penis of the Muslim man will be in heaven? Is that what God he mentioned to his prophet? Any Muhammadan? Do you think it is God when he talk when he mentioned that your penis will never go limp? Or your penis will be endless? 
Is that the word coming from God? Yes, you need money in heaven. If you are a Muslim, you need money in heaven. If you remember, in the heaven there is a market. Our friend here is asking. I don't know if it's he or she. If we need money in heaven, the answer is yes. In the heaven of Islam, there is a market. And in this market, there's no buying nor selling except images of men and women. And if a man he like the image, he enter it and have sex with it. So this is this is uh, a, a real bazaar, supposedly, where money is going to be spent. And Muhammad he made it so clear. He called it souk. Souk is a place where you buy and you sell. So we can say that even Muhammad is the one who came with the ideas of uh, sex magazines, porn magazines, before anyone you can imagine. And for sure, the Muslim, they will say to you, this is Da'if Hadith. But Da'if Hadith does not mean it's rejected, it's accepted. This is why it's in the book. Any, any Muslim who try to wash his hands from the stupidity is in the Quran, or in the hadith, simply he is trying to duct tape what Muhammad said. When they say da'if, it's mean this is why it's in the book. If it's bad, it's not good, it's not true, then they will not put it in the book, they will throw it away. For 1400 years, the Muslim they keep printing and printing and preprinting. So, if this story is not accepted, so they are reprinting what? You see how we get them busted? Very easy. So, because it's an embarrassment now, a Muslim he will say to you, oh, this is the Eve hadith. The Eve mean weak. My friend, Islam is weak. And here, we remember, if Islam is preserved religion, but Islam is based on the hadith and the Quran. In fact, Islam is based on the hadith more in the Quran. Hadith is what Muhammad or the companion did or said. So, if the hadith, according to them, is not preserved, that means Islam is not preserved. And as you see, they keep reprinting, but the second we read for them what is in their book, they lick their fingers, and they say it's the E fingers. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us and tell us why Allah is a promise in me, such a promises, English penis, a penis will never go limp. Dahman, Dahman, which means you will, excuse my language, you will if so hard, not soft, like with sound of the bush. What kind of a prophet, what kind of companions, what kind of God we are talking about? If we go in the Quran, we will find tons of stories. All of them, they are funny and stupid. But just to go here, Even Muhammad, he claimed that there is someone who will have a front seat in the paradise and there is people they will have a back seat, which is very funny. I mean, if you are in the, in the front of the train or in the end of the train, you are in the train. No. According to Muhammad, there is a 100 level in the heaven of Allah. And each floor... The one who is in the top of floor, he can visit all the previous floors, but the one who underneath that floor cannot visit him. How funny. My friends cannot come to visit me. So, even in the heaven, they practice what, the, what they call it, the caste system, you know, in India, the Hindus. There is the Brahma, uh, and then there is like other society groups. 
there's one in the top and there's one in the bottom. What kind of heaven? There is people who they are in the top and there is people who they are in the bottom. And who are they in the top? The one who killed. The one who is a terrorist. Read it. The messenger of Satan, Muhammad Sayyid, in Jannah there are a hundred grade which Allah has prepared for those who fight in his cause. And the distance between two of those grades is like the distance between the heaven and the earth. <laughs> Look at this. And why we have such a distance? I mean, why we... So the Muslim, they will not be in one heaven. That means there is 100 heaven. Do we have any Muhammadan have any comment? Anyone? If you remember, there is a girl, her name Nightmare, or not Nightmare, uh, Fakira, Fakira. She called me and, you know, she say, she believe, uh, is a she, he. Uh, she claimed that she don't believe in the Hadith. But yet when he was talking to me, or she talking to me, she said there is like a, a there is a hundred uh, level in heaven. I said to him, where do you get this from? I said, I'm like, 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 doesn't matter where you get this from. It's from the Hadith. So, they, even those who say they don't accept the hadith, all their belief system is coming from the hadith. Hypocrites, liars. Marjoro Bu 5, John 17, 3. Please explain, I challenge you. My friend, there is no need to challenge. Take it easy, Marjo Marjoro. And why you why you want only John seventeen three? You don't want John seventeen one and two and three and four and five. You will see that Jesus saying that he exists before the whole world is exist. You are a hypocrite, my friend. Jesus said in the verse before that I am your son. So people will know that you are the Father and I am your son. And you are the only true God. And I was with you before the whole world is exist. You are a potato. Please, challenge to you. Explain to me. We laugh at you. The same chapter proved to us that Jesus is God. But as the Chinese, they said, you cannot make a donkey a horse. The Chinese, they said, which I, you know, I read this when I was a kid, actually. He left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. You cannot make a donkey a horse. It doesn't matter. This is about a person. He went and he, like, he, he have a trips around the world. And, you know, you're, usually when you travel, you have a lot of experience. But not if you are a donkey. You will come back as a donkey. And you will never be a horse. And look what we are talking about and what the Muslims are worried about now. They have to change the topic because the topic is hurting their bum. Did I say bum? Can you believe that there is a God, he promised a man that his wife bum will be one mile. So the Muslim, he don't question how in the world my wife, her bum will be one mile. But he, he challenged for me. He did not know where to find the word I'm saying in his book. But he knew the all the Muslims all they only they only know from John is John 17 verse number three. They don't know John 17 verse number two. They don't know John 17 verse number one or four or five. They know only verse number three. Potatoes. My friend, I hope one day I will visit you in heaven. And I'm going to do hiking in the top of your wife's butt. I heard it's so smooth. And it took Allah 1,000 years to make her skin smooth. By the way, 
why it's taking Allah 1,000 years to smooth the skin of a woman. I mean, even if it's a concrete, there is a machine these days, they can make the concrete smooth in less than 30 seconds. 1,000 years to smooth her skin, why? She is an alligator? Hmm? I mean, can't Allah make the women right away beauty and smooth skin? So what he make her made of concrete or rocks, and then he took her to the shop, he put her in the table, and he started smoothing her skin? Your God, he never heard of something called Vaseline? So how come the Muslim didn't see, I mean, how awkward, how stupid the promises of Muhammad? But they know John 17, verse number 3. And what make it more funny, that a Mohammedan who die fighting for ISIS or Al-Qaeda, he will become a bird. How you promised the Mujahideen? Let us see if we can find the hate in English. How you promised the Mujahideen that he is going to be in heaven with a lot of women, and then you tell him you will be a green bird. Let us see the hadith. There is many uh, like report of this hadith. Uh, Muhammad, when he reported each time, he say different words. This one we cannot find it. Let us see the front one. Okay, here we go. And if you speak Arabic, this is the Arabic hadith. In Arwah al Shuhada, if you tire in Hodor, to Allah come in Thamarati Jannah, or Shajarati Jannah. From his father, that the messenger of Allah, S.A.W.S. said, the souls of the murderers are in a green birds suspended from the fruits of paradise. Is that a dragon fruit? What's wrong with this religion? So you promised me a woman, she have one mild butt, and now I am a green bird. How am I going to have sex with her? Using my peak? I think she will like it. Green bird. Everything in the heaven of Islam is a green. The Muslim, they will wear a clothes which is a green. Oh. Because those are people of the desert, Muhammad, they are desperate for a green. So Muhammad, he promised them anything, right away he jumped to the world green. So now you are fighting for Allah, joining Al-Qaeda and ISIS, and then you end what? A green bird. And then your wife, she take off her panties, and then you have to use your peak. Maybe she is going to put some seed there to make you do something. What is this promise is about? Is that a reward? 
You know, how many times we heard the Muslims making fun of the Hindus? What the Hindus believe? The Hindus believe that you will take, your spirit will go and come back in a, in a life of uh, other, other creature. Depend on what you did in the previous life, correct? Isn't this what the Hindus believe? Majura, as long as you didn't run, my friend. Why you don't text me in Skype? Let us see how brave you are. You remind me of the guy from Indonesia who called me and asked about John 17. No, I want the answer. Please answer me. What a ho ho. Call me. Be a man. Be a woman. Be something. Bisexual, no problem. The Muhammadan, they don't dare to discuss their religion. And look, Major, he is saying this is a beautiful hadith. So Major, as long as it's a beautiful hadith, why you don't do jihad? You are a hypocrite. If this is really what you seek, you can do it in two minutes. But you are a coward and you are a, 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 you don't believe in what you say. You see, those who believe, trust me, those who believe in the promises of Muhammad, they will go and do jihad. Those who don't believe, they don't go. Because they don't believe. They knew it's a fraud. And this is the 99.999% of you Muhammadans. Otherwise, trust me, why anyone want to stay here in this earth? Hard labor, work, sickness, disease, earthquake, Erdogan, stealing the money of the donation, you know, and his son-in-law taking the tent and he's selling them in the black market and the food. And even they are stealing the kidneys and the livers and the heart of the dead people. Huh? Why you want to stay in this life, brother? Do jihad. But coward, you don't believe. You don't believe not even 1% of what Muhammad promised you. Do we have any Muhammadan believe really in his, in this promise of Muhammad? Anyone? They don't. Hmm. You know, Islam based in, in two things. I don't want to draw uh, art, but look like I have to. Let us see if we can draw something. We need an empty space. There is no empty space here. Let us go to the Quran page. The Quran have a lot of empty spaces. Okay, let us try this empty space here, even though it's not totally empty. So what Islam is based on? Terrorism and reward. Terrorism is a practice the Muslim they practice and there is a terrorism which is the Muslims they suffer from how Muhammad he terrified them if they don't listen to him the woman she is terrified in her house the man he can beat her everybody terrifying everybody so there is two sides of Muhammad strategy In one side, I will scare the hell of you. Muhammad, he said, I was victorious by terror. I will scare you if you are not a Muslim, and I will scare you if you are a Muslim. How? If you remember, 
we showed you many stories about if you don't enter the bathroom and you say a certain prayer, shaitan will play with your anus. If you don't say a prayer before you have sex with your wife, shaitan will round himself around your penis. If you don't recite this verse and that verse and that verse before you sleep, shaitan will sleep in your nose and piss in your ears and jump in your mouth, scaring you. So he can keep you busy and you will not think. And there is the other side, which is scaring you if you are not a Muslim, by terrorism. If you go in the Quran, you will see Muhammad how he tried to scare the Christian in the beginning by making an empty threat and the Christians and the Jews, they laugh at it. He said to them, if you don't believe right now, Allah will erase your faces. He will make you the same as he did. He make a penalty for those who broke the Sabbath. He made them pigs and monkeys. That is a scary threat. Imagine you wake up in the morning, you find yourself, you have no nose, you have no mouth, you have no, and you have no eyes, you have no everything, and it, it, you will became backward forward, which means your face after erased will have all the details is gone, will be in the back of your head, and your back head will be in the front. Read it. And Muhammad, he make it clear that this is not about something will happen in the day of judgment. This is the same as he did to those who broke the Sabbath. Suddenly, Muhammad, he cared for the Sabbath, but Muslims don't practice Sabbath. Why Allah, he cares so much for Sabbath? Very, very weird, very stupid religion. The Jews, they have a story they tell to their kids to make them, which is a stupid story. To make them not to break the Sabbath. Oh, there is a group of people, they broke the Sabbath. God, he made them monkeys. The stupid Muhammad, he took the story, he put it in the Quran. As usual. This is why in chapter 9, verse number 61, Muhammad, he was called. Uh, an ear. Is what? He's an ear. What does that mean? Whatever he hear, he make it. Uh, he take it for. He make it a story. Do you see it? When the Christian and the Jews, they were not scared from the empty threat of Muhammad. They laugh at it. Muhammad now he jumped for different strategy. Okay, I will kill you. Chapter 9, verse number 29, fight and kill those who don't believe in Allah in the last days from the Christian and the Jews. If this verse is true, chapter 4, verse number 47, why you need to fight them and kill them? But if they pay the jizya, if they pay money, they can live, let them live. Muhammad is a gang man. Until now, zero Muhammadan is texting me do you know why because they are so proud of their belief a Muslim he meets someone he is you know Western or whatever Japanese people do not know anything about Islam they give them amazing image about Islam if I type right now the word heaven of Allah what I will find what I will find I will find trees Nice view, sun, moon. Let me let me type that. Allah heaven in Google, and then I will go to pictures. Look at this, brother. This is Allah heaven. Why the Muslim don't show penises and asses and vaginas and porn? Hypocrites. What is this? This is what Allah He promised you in the heaven. Is this a really this is what Allah He promised you in heaven? And what is this stair? You are going to go down upstairs?
The true heaven of Allah is this. Hypocrites. You type the word heaven of Allah, they show you like flowers, you know, where is the naked women? Where is the penises? Where is the 70 years or orgasm? 70 years orgasm. This is the heaven of Allah. Are you serious? Where is the boys? Where is the women who their vagina never been touched? What about you make an image about the women her vagina never been touched? I'm trying to be polite. Quran did not say that. They never bleed from being effed. And I changed the Muslim to say I'm lying. It doesn't say that, CP. Chapter 55, verse number 56. And this is the Muhammadan translation. Why well, you are putting for us images of a lake and moon, candles, Muhammad have candles, Muhammad he if without candles. When the last time Muhammad he says to you, you put candles and put perfume. What is those view? What is the river of the wine? Where is the 80,000 boys who is going around you? Slavery in heaven. Slavery in heaven. Slavery to who? To boys. Who in the world would I accept to enslave boys for eternity? Any Muhammadan would like to enter heaven and Allah will plus his penis by calling me? Because guess what? If you call me to defend Allah and He's a prophet, can you imagine how much power He will give to your penis? What does my kingdom look like? Well, my kingdom is the kingdom of the Holy God. There is no penises and vaginas. The Messiah, He says, He and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. That is my kingdom. Your kingdom, let me show you. Even when you Muslims and your his companion and Muhammad, when they go around the Kaaba, their penis is dripping sperm. Imagine you are wearing the jalabiya. Let me find the hadith. What kind of companion, you know, imagine, 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 guys, God, for, for you know, forgive me for saying that, just to, show, just to show people how filthy Islam is. Imagine John saying, we and the, we, we used to go with the Messiah to the temple and our, the John and Peter and, and our penises is dripping semen. Read it. Read it. Do you know how to read? What is this? 
They are having sex around the Kaaba. You know, if a man have sex at home, he will not go to the Kaaba and his penis is still dripping semen. And what they say, what they will say to you, this is da'if. It's not da even da'if, it's sahih. It doesn't say that, CP. Do you see why they don't dare to call me? Because they knew. This is the religion of the devil. And you notice something very important. You see, the one who is collecting those stories, and the one who is teaching those stories, and the one who is printing those stories, and the one who is translating those stories, through 1400 years, none of them feel any shameful statement in the statement. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mistranslating? This is not my trans. Mistrans this is not my translation, <laughs> guys. I'm mistranslating. <laughs> Isn't it funny that we are showing them the translation made by the Muslims in their Islamic website, and the Muhammad and they say you are mistranslating again? I mean, can you believe the stupidity? As if this is my Muslim website. I'm telling you, the second you are a Muslim, you are a potato. The website is called sunnah.com, run by the same who run the Dean show. And the Muhammadan, they say you are mistranslating. But here you notice something very important. That when they say such a statement, that's mean they are ashamed. They try to defend. They try to defend. But when they defend, they make it more stupid. This is not my translation. I'm I'm not reading for you in Arabic. I just saw it in English as you translate as Muslim translation. But I, for me, I do not need the translation. I speak the language. Here we go, it says, فَنَخْرُجُ إِلَيْهَا وَمَذَاكِرُنَا تَقْطُرُ مِنِيًّا And not only that, the Prophet, he said, I bless you. I mean, the guys are going around with their penises coming out and they're, and they're dripping semen. What they were doing? And Muhammad is a, is a proud he is saying I am look at this I am the most righteous and the truthful among you but um, among who <laughs> I was kidding even Ivan okay don't don't kid my friend uh, 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 I will think you are a Muslim so don't do that again Do we have any Muhammadan? And this guy, his name is Top Roman. He keep coming here. He say the most stupid, uh, uh, weird statement. And I don't know why he keep uh, coming here. Let me block him. This guy, you making me sick. Go, Top Roman. Go, go to the front channel, my friend. Weirdo, very weirdo. I don't even know what this guy religion. I mean, his comment is like somebody. You know, when you make a smoothie. And you mix many things together and you put it in the mixer you got top ramen but he is the one the kind you don't understand the word of what he is saying don't get married my friend i don't know if it's he or she i don't know what we are doing lord have mercy sometimes i feel i want to be an atheist i mean god created those people are you serious god I mean, you created this. 
Why? Oh boy. May the Lord forgive me. Honestly, sometimes you ask yourself, I mean, why God created those people, those creatures? But, you know, based in logic, I think it's a penalty for us so we can see the difference between stupidity and intelligence. If there's no stupid, we would not know what smart means. Do we have any Muhammadan? We explain it to you, Major. Potato, call me, call me. Here we go. Let me block you too. The simple question I ask you to explain to me. Well, Jesus says you are the God, the Father. I am God, the Son. Eh, explain it. And I am your Son who was with you before the world. And simple question. I ask this guy, he's stuck with it. That's it. Everything we are showing on the screen, he doesn't see. He doesn't see. He see only John 17. <laughs> Son of Muta. Simple, simple. I ask you. Simple, you know. The most disgusting person ever called me for more than maybe 20 years is the Indonesian guy who spoke to me in a very lousy way. I mean, disgusting. Ah, oh, please answer me. I want the question answer. What kind of a man this man? Read, my friend. As long you are you are willing to read. Why you don't call me so you can read with you and we can read together and we can laugh at you? Father. So who? Father. And who is the Father? Is the Father of the Son. The Christian belief. Father, Son. And the, the Muslim, they say to you, where is, the, where, where is the Trinity? Show me the Trinity. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son. Have you ever heard of a God? Any God. Fake God. Glorify somebody. You don't glorify a man. A man, he is a sinner. Glorify your son, that your son all also may glorify you. The father glorified the son, the son glorified the father. As you gave him the authority over all the flesh, you don't see that, don't you? Who is the one who have the authority over the flesh? Who is the judge in the judgment day? The most time they say, God, that is Jesus. Who have the authority to judge all mankind? God. That is Jesus, who gave the authority to Jesus, the Son, the Father. God gave the God the Father gave the Son the authority that He should give the eternal life. Who gave the eternal life? Jesus. To as many as you have given Him. So Jesus, the Son, was sent by the Father. This is what Christianity teach. Christianity doesn't teach that son, he sent the father. Christianity teach the Muslims are stupid. They do not know until now. We keep saying the son, the son, the son. And they think that the son is higher than the father. And the son is the one who ordered the father. When Jesus in every word, he say, the, the, my father sent me. My father gave me. And look what Jesus is saying. Not only he have the eternal life. And this is eternal life. What is eternal life? So they might know that you are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent is what? Is your son. This is the eternal life. If you don't believe that Jesus is the son of God, you don't have the eternal life. This is why all of you, Muhammadan, you are going to go to hell with the devil, Muhammad. I have glorified you on earth. I have finished the work which you have given me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. What Jesus said?
He have a glory with the Father. He shared the glory of God with the Father before the whole world was. And the stupid Mohammedan says, I challenge you. Actually, I encourage all the Christians to remember John chapter 17. It's extremely important proving that Jesus, not only he claimed that he is God, but he confirmed that his existence was existence before the whole world. Remember, there is some group of people in certain time, they start saying Jesus came to existence later, which means not from the beginning. That is false, and the verse in front of us confirmed that. Before the whole world was, and this is in total agreement with the Bible, statement where it says that everything created by him everything created by him and for him and the Muhammad and they say uh, where Jesus says I'm God worship me hypocrite cowardness and truthful sneaks but for me I'm not surprised this is the Muhammadan religion and now they will come tomorrow and they will say we challenge you to explain it <laughs> We challenge you. Read, read and educate yourself. Don't be a coward. And when we read the verse in the Quran, you say you are misquoting. Why you don't read the verse before it and the verse after it? Okay, let's do. Potatoes. Do we have any Muhammadan have the courage and the knowledge? And as long you are quoting for me, John, if you open John, the first page in John, it says that Jesus is God. The first page, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth. In the beginning, it was the word and the word was with God. And who, what the word we are talking about? This is Jesus. And the funny is, Muhammad, he stole that from the book of John, and he claimed that the Messiah is the Word of God. It's in the stupid Quran. Jesus is the Word of God sent down to Mary. So where was Jesus before he was on earth? He was in heaven. Who said this? The stupid Allah. Sin from where? From heaven. Down to where? To earth. And the funny is, a chapter 4, verse 171, it's the same one saying that don't say Trinity is the same one proving the Trinity to be true. This is how stupid Muhammad is because in the same verse, it's proven to us that Jesus is a three and one in the same time, which is not our Trinity, by the way, but is another form of a Trinity. Is it possible for anyone to be three and one? Will the Quran say so? Read it. Jesus in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 171. He is a man as a messenger. Okay. And he is his word. So he's a man. He's a word. This is two. And he is a spirit proceeding from God. Three in one. Do you see it? So your foolish Muhammad, because he is idiot, he just get himself busted. Is Muhammad the word of Allah? No.
Is Muhammad a spirit proceeding from Allah? No. Is Muhammad a messenger from Allah? According to Muhammad, yes. So only Jesus, only Jesus have a three in one. Then Muhammad, he wanted to fix himself, to correct himself. He said that Jesus is the same as Adam. Allah, he said to him, be and he was. But that is a stupid statement. Remember Muhammad, he said, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. If you read the story how Allah created Adam, you will not see the word be. You will see Allah making mud, mixing the mud, Make Jesus, this is not how Allah created the Isa according to the Quran. Allah, he breathed into Mary vagina. Mary conceived the son. What is B? And he was. There is only God, he is my God, who used the word be, and it was Jesus. Jesus said to the man, carry your bed and walk. He walked. That is be, and it was. Go on, your sin is forgiven. Go, you are healed. Even the Bible confirm that there is miracles nobody can count. Jesus did. In the top of that, Jesus says, I and my father are one. And then the coward, they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Is Muhammad and Allah is one? So the Muhammad and they lie about us when they say, we believe in three gods. Because as you see, same time, even the Quran never said that. The Quran never said that we believe in three gods. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Until now, zero Muhammadan there to contact me. Be my witness. Islam is defeated. They are sharpening their penises, not their brain. This is the religion of Mr. Penis. It's a fact, and I challenge you to say I'm lying. If you have my book, Sex and Allah, read it and die laughing. By the way, why women they have menstruation? Hey Muslim, why women they have menstruation? Because that one day, the women and men, they have a party. The children of Adam, they have a party. Mixed gender. So Allah, he punished the women to have their period. What the heck? Muhammad stories. Okay, but the, but the party have men and women. What about we make the men have period too? I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupid story? If the party have men and women, And because it's a mixed party, men and women, they are dancing together. Haram, haram. And the funny is, it's haram to have party dancing, but it's halal to have 10,000 slaves, sex slaves, to have, to F them, to force them to dance for you, to be naked. Omar al Khattab, he used to beat a slave women if they are covering their boobs or if they wear hijab. Why the man, he have a belly bomb? Shaitan, Shaitan, he spit. He spit, but he missed. And then it fell in his in his stomach. Makes sense, this is Muhammad, this is Prophet Muhammad. He told, he told the truth. Where the sun set? The sun set in a muddy water. We have witnesses from NASA, so that, you know. There is a Japanese scientist, his name is Shakabuzi Suzuki Honda Toyota. He said, 
I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah, S-A-W, this is a kind of like a, you know, mot motorcycle, you know. Uh, I was riding the donkey, oh, it's a donkey at that time, it, it, it was not updated yet. While the sun was setting, he asked, do you know where the sun set? Look, Muhammad, he like to show off. He want to show his knowledge. He cannot keep his anus, I mean, his mouth shut. Muhammad, he's a smart, he's the smartest in town. So he asked the guy who is a fool, <laughs> Do you know? Do you know where the sun said? Do you know? The guy, he played a fool again because he is this guy, he accompanied Muhammad, Abu Dhar, and Abu Huraira. They accompany Muhammad just to get a free food. They are the low trashy class people in the town. They keep going, Muhammad, wherever he go, because wherever he go, he have a free lunch, nice meat, and you know, shish kebab, hummus. So, okay, do you know where this is set? Muhammad, he loved to, to do that. I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. As you see, the Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of a stupid man with the knowledge of the stupid God. That makes sense. Stupid man, stupid God. Otherwise, how you can say that a man and the God know best? Isn't it Muhammad a man? Isn't it the Muslim they say Muhammad is a servant of Allah? How Muhammad and Allah knows best? How they are equal in knowledge. And then he said, it's set in a spring of warm water. And this is a proven to be accurate. Hold on, I got a caller. Christian Prince, first of all, the hadith you are talking about, Sergin, is not a thing. What? It is not a thing. Zach and your voice changed. What happened? First of all, my vote thing because I have a diarrhea. You have what? Diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now? Exactly. But Zach and I, you always have diarrhea. Are you kidding me? Christian Prince, first of all, respect yourself. Secondly, I just say to you that hadith in the great is it's not Sahih in chain. In the website, it's here is Sahih in chain. Exactly. It's Sahih in chain, but it's not Sahih in chain. How is Sahih in chain, but it's not Sahih in chain? I will tell you exactly. First of all, that chain is what not created at the time of Prophet Muhammad. Therefore, this chain is not a true chain. Uh, Zakir Naik, are you the cousin of Dick Cheney? Because you chain a lot. I mean, you changed a lot. Your voice is changing. Your answer is stupid. It says Sahih in chain, which means nothing wrong with it. And it's true. The Prophet... When he said that, he proved science. Guys, imagine if scientists they could discover that really the sun set in the murky water. What the Muslim would do with this hadith? They would put it in the frame in the highway everywhere. Is that true? <laughs> if this is true, the Muslim, they will make movies about it. But now they bury it, you know, like just, but this is in the Quran. What about the Quran? Oh, Allah in the Quran says, as if it is set in murky water. Where is the word as if? I cannot say that to you, Muhammadan. I cannot say as if you are smart, because that will not be true. Do we have any Muhammadan? So what this heaven for? So I want every Muslim ask himself, Muslim or non-Muslim, the heaven which is full of penises, a penis will never go limp, uh, uh, if hard, hard, women her ass is, uh, and uh, what? They have women, Allah will import women, who they are hookers. There's a, there's a guy, he tried to refute me, supposedly. He says, first of all, they are not hookers. They are just women who have des desirable friend passages. Okay, but they are in hell. What is the qualification they have? Education? No. They are in hell because they are bad. Are they good? Allah import from hell only women who have desirable front passages. Who are they then? <laughs> what their job? 
what their job sex uh, let us put the hadith in the screen I mean, there is tons of hadith. All of them, they are filthy, trashy, penises, sex. There is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but he will marry him. Look, it's marriage, to be honest with you. It's not for Nikisan. To 72 wives. This is the lowest, the lowest. So when people, they say 72, and by the way, Muhammad, because he is a stupid, I mean, this guy, in different hadiths, he says two wives from the whore, two. The lowest is the two. Here, not even one, but he will have 72, which means the lowest will have 72. Muhammad cannot repeat the same story twice correctly without adding or taking off. And the numbers always are wrong. He will marry him to 72 wives, two from the Huris and 70 from the inheritance of the people of hell. Oh, how you can inherit women from hell? Why is that? Allah will go to hell and he will choose women who have desirable front passages. And then when you see them, those women who have nice vagina and nice boobs, what about the back, my friend? Is the back is not desirable? It says the front. I mean, what if her back is not nice? What if she have a lot of hair in her back like a, you know, like a chimpanzee? Huh? Only the front is desirable? And then he promised the Muslim man that look at this promise. Look, this is, must be from God. This is this must be the most the most honorable man in the world, man. And he will have a male member. The, you know, Muslims they are translating the word penis. I don't know, use the word street word. Uh, they they use the word male member. What male member? Penis. Male member, is that a night club? You know, you have a, like a club member, a ship. So, and he will have a male member never become a flaccid. Can you describe him, hey, Muhammad? Can you draw it for us? I mean, what do you mean, flaccid? Well, Muhammad, he suffered a lot with a flaccid penis, he could not have sex with his wives. If you remember, there's a chapter about it in the Quran. And look, the Muslim who translate and he explained, i.e. soft and limp. I have a friend once. We were together in the university. He have a neighbor. We are like, you know, very young. Studying together in the same university. So his neighbor, he asked him, to buy for him a medicine is not exist in 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 where they live, like you know, in in his town. The guy he he did not tell him that this medicine for what. So we went to the pharmacy, and uh, my friend is like six foot something tall. He is very like very strong, uh, you know, muscles. I mean, I mean, like. He, he have nothing wrong with him, so he gave the uh, the prescription, like you know, the doctor uh, uh, prescribed for him for the old man. Uh, he gave it to the to the lady there, and I was with him. So she looked at it and she said, "This is for who?" He said, uh, "The guy, the old guy, told him tell him for me because if you don't say that, they will not give it to you. They will say that the guy who you know his name there." So he said to me. So she looked. She said, really? 
and then they went inside and they were laughing like there's another girl she, they were talking reading it and they are laughing and i said why they are doing that man what's what's wrong with this the drugs so she came back again she said are you sure this is for you he said yeah it's for me what's wrong you know uh, she said this is for men who their things is not working <laughs> <laughs> he, he he took himself and he left without even the paper i grabbed the paper and i left after him i said okay so I, thank you very much you know said wait 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 we you know we can give it to you no problem I said, no 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 just go you know so we went and he was so upset from from what happened you know yeah so imagine never take a medicine uh, prescribed for somebody uh without knowing what it is so the guy he's he thought he told him i have a problem with my liver blah 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 it's a foreign word we do not know what it's mean you know in the latin language so well, how we know you know and she was looking at him this is really for you uh, you know yeah <laughs> and this is muhammad you come and the medicine waiting for you your penis will never go flaccid you do not need to send your friend or fool your friend without telling him what the medicine is about. Hmm. Will never go flaccid. The Abdul, he walk in the street, his penis is in front of him, and how long it is, it's endless. So imagine like you are, you are walking and you have like a, I don't want to draw it, but just to make it simple. We will, don't worry, we will not make it so dirty. So this is the Abdul. And this is his endless penis. Never go limp. Don't stand in front of him. He will poke your eye. He will poke your nose. He will go through your fence. He will go to, through the Amazon River. He, his penis will go to China. The, you know the Chinese they will call him Qin ho, he ho, he ho. okay translation can you for the sake of Allah move your penis from our light railway you are blocking the airport man you just destroy the satellite endless so why the promises of Muhammad is like this and how this is can be a prophet of God be honest, if somebody says such a thing to you, are you going to believe such a garbage promise? Hmm? By the way, my translation to the Chinese was not accurate. There was one letter was was not right. I said to you, like, like, chim ho, he ho, ha, you know, ho, ha, here, like, I, I was, I mean, all of you, you are ignoring the Chinese, what I can say, you know, it's okay. I, I will not even waste my time explaining to you. It's okay, but there was one one letter was not uh, correctly said, so I, I fix it now. All right, well, honesty is 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 come first, you know. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you know what? If I know what the Chinese is, Muhammad, he knew what he's talking about. What is this? Desirable front passages. Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? How desirable they are. And what is exactly the desirable? Are we talking about those round things? Look like a cake in the middle, there is something here. Those are the desirable. Somebody is a smart, he will think I'm talking about the eye now. Let us make them a glasses. What is that, man? Desirable front passages. And this is a promise from Allah. I mean, who can beat that? Any Muhammadan? Somebody is asking me to translate that to Indonesian. It's very easy, you know, like in the heaven of Allah, you will have a lot, there's a lot of orang orang, you know, they will be there, okay? 
and uh, Makadan, Takadan, Takahu. You understand, do? I hope so, Stazu. Okay, so now we are done. I hope my Indonesian was very, but you know, I like, you know, when I speak Indonesian, people get amazed about how good, uh, like, man, so fast, so easy, you know. Like, once I gave lecture for Indonesian, it's true there's nobody in the hall, you know, but still, they told me there's Indonesian are coming. Anyway, everybody in the hall, which there's nobody there, and uh, love it. I was even able to hear myself the echo, you know. So, why Muhammad nobody saw the moon splitting? Because a Muslim, a smart Muslim says, because the people were asleep. It was for a few seconds. Look, 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 few seconds. Muhammad he split the moon with everybody asleep. And nobody saw it because it was for a few seconds, man. You believe it or not, I split the moon for five hours. But it was daytime. Nobody noticed. <laughs> What a stupid religion. Anyway. <coughs> may they, may they, last call. Any Muhammad? Any Muhammadan? Would like to call and defeat us with no mercy? So listen, if you are a female and you are a bad woman, according to Islam, don't worry. You will end in heaven. As long you have desirable front passages, your place is preserved. Look at it, it's in front of you. You go to hell? Don't worry, be happy. Go right now and look in the mirror. Do you have desirable front passages? If you do, you are going to be with the Scooby Doo of Allah. Any Abdul? I never heard of a God he is importing. Like I know export, import, but God he importing women. And look, it is his inheritance. He he have a he have a right over them. Inheritance. And why they are, I mean, why they are 70? Why it's limited to 70? What this this Muhammad he stock Jesus said 70, Muhammad is stock was 70. Jesus said seven, Muhammad is stock was seven. Jesus said three, Muhammad is stock with three. How you got desirable? Well, if you don't have one, just very easy. Just go to Thailand, they will change all the front. They change the back, the front, everything. You go there, you come back, they put cushions for you and your butt. I mean, they have everything. When I was in Thailand, I saw in all the beauty saloon, all of them, they have a big signs in Arabic because number one customers are the Arab. New lips, new eyes, new eyebrows, new face, new ass, new nipples. And you breast. I mean, you ever you can you will come like you you will come different person. Trust me. You know. <clears throat> yeah. Just bring your money with you. Any Muhammadan? You will look like a Kim Kardashian. Is that supposed to be Kim Kardashian is beautiful? I don't know even why people think about her as a beautiful woman. What a fake person. Kim Kardashian. People worship hookers, you know. Do we have any Mohammedan? Yeah, we mentioned that, Brian, already we mentioned it. But now because it's late, you know, here it's late, so the market of Allah is closed. Remember, Allah have one zone time. So the market is not open again, where they sell images of men and women.
Any Mohammedan? I should go easier on Muslims because nobody will call you. How I can go easier than this? I'm being very easy. Same time, Muhammad and you have Allah with him. Look, listen. I will explain to you something very important. You just hurt my feeling now. Do you remember when Muhammad he had fight with his two wives, Hafsa and Aisha? Hafsa and Aisha. Did you did you watch the 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 movie? It's about uh, the dictator. In the beginning of the movie, there's women. They have big boobs and they break bricks with their breasts. Did you see it? This is what Muhammad wives look like. So Muhammad, when he uh, when he have a fight with Aisha and Hafsa, and they have big boobs, he cannot. He's no match. They will break his bones with one nipple hit. So Muhammad, he needed help. In chapter sixty-six, verse number four. If you two, between two bracket, look the Muslims voluntarily they add things between the bracket to explain to you the stupid Quran. I mean, how this, how a Muslim will know? Allah is talking about who? And they say to you, this is a book for every time. So we have to fix it. We have to duct tape. If you two, between two bracket, the wives of Prophet Muhammad S A W, namely Aisha and Hafsa, if if if, turned into in repentance to Allah. Between two bracket, it will be better for you, okay? Okay. Your heart are indeed inclined. What happened? What happened between two bracket? To oppose what Prophet S.A.W. likes? What the heck? Those two women, they oppose the Prophet? What oppose the Prophet? They have a strike. They throw tomato at him. They throw rocks. They throw zucchini. They throw even damaged tomatoes and on eggs. And now you are saying oppose. What oppose? They have a strike. But if you help one another against him, look at this. The gang of women. Never. I mean, one woman, she will destroy you. Two, you are dead guaranteed. Look what happened to Andrew Tate. Look what happened to him. Stupid. He thought women are weak. Women, you know, you are mine, blah, 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 blah. And now he is eating cockroaches. Do you see what women can do? Potato. Don't mess with women. Learn from Muhammad. And now Muhammad, he said to himself, if I don't do, ask the help of Allah, I will end like and rotate potato. So what happened? Allah sent these passages saying, but if you help one another against him, between two bracket, Muhammad, S-A-W, F-M, short wave, long wave, F-M, then verily, Allah is his protector. Look at this, Allah is his mawla. The Muslim translating now, but he used the Arabic word. Between two bracket, the translation, that's deep. Lord, his master, his protector, etc. If, if, if. The whole 99 names of Allah come with the baggage. And the real, and the righteous among the believers, and furthermore, the angels are his helpers. All of this to fight to women. Do you see how serious the situation? I'm telling you, women are very dangerous. I mean, Muhammad, he have, I mean, who's left? If you hear the spaces, you think this guy talking to Putin, Seriously, if you if you see this passage, you will think this guy is talking to someone he have the most powerful nukes in the world, Putin. Not two two women; they are four or five foot tall, and one the, one of them she is a teenage. All of this to help Muhammad against Aisha and Hafsa. Allah, okay, isn't Allah enough? No, he did not go to the gym for long. I mean, if Allah is his protector, why any Jibreel? Jibreel? 
obviously Jibreel and Allah is not enough. We need more. We need every righteous among the believer. That means zero. You added nobody. Are you serious when you say righteous? Like what? Do muta, kidnapping, stealing. Righteous, yeah, the righteous believer. We know how, like a Muslim, he made a comment about uh, Allah, he gave you time to do your sin, but later you will be sorry. So I said to him, Abdul, so, okay, I will stop making sin now. I will be good from now on. Uh, uh, from now on. I will attack the neighbors to get the blonde girls, as the prophet said, and I will attack the Jews to get their money and their women. And uh, I will have sex with the children at the age of six. And uh, I will lie to my wife three times. And I can use the name of Allah in vain. Uh, and that will make me, uh, make me a good person. When a Muslim, he speak about sin. You think that Muslim believe in sin. When Islam itself is the sin itself. So let us see what happened here. So Muhammad, he asking Allah. Not asking Allah. Allah is talking. Allah, he is a protector. Jibreel, he will side with Allah, every righteous believer, which means nobody, and furthermore the angels, all to fight against two women. Do you see how powerful Allah is? He needs Jibreel. He needs furthermore the believers. He needs furthermore the angels to stop Two women. One of them, she is 14 years old. And she have her Barbie with her. Any Muhammadan? That's why I'm single. I mean, look, I look at Muhammad. I said to himself, if this is the guy, he need the protection of Allah and Jibreel. And every angel in the world, and furthermore, the, the righteous believer, which means nobody. Uh, what will happen to me? I will become hummus from the second day. First day, they said to you, We love you, like, you know, honey, you know, like those words, like, you know, you know open your mouth, you're like, Okay, oh, she loved me. Two days after, you are doing the dishes, doing the laundry, cleaning the floor. Washing the car, changing the diaper. I mean, in two days you have a son. What are you talking about? It happened, it happened, it happened. Don't worry. In these days it happened. People have sons even before get married. What are you talking about? <laughs> Unbelievable. <clears throat> Do we have any Mohammedan? Don't forget to subscribe, my friend. And if you're subscribed already, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because if you subscribe or not, I don't even care. I'm here to do my part to inform people about how stupid this religion is. You are here to learn. And those who seek knowledge, knowledge is power. Knowledge is intelligence. Knowledge make you bulletproof against scammers, against liars. So educate yourself. Don't waste your time. And whatever you learn, Share it with others, otherwise you will be considered yourself a selfish man. So I'm not being selfish, I'm coming here, and I don't care really how many people are watching, I don't care how many people are subscribing. As you see, I change channels even, I have in the other channel, a hundred, whatever, five thousand, but yet I am in this one. And we can stop in this one, we go to one, have we zero, I don't really care. What we care for is that the truth have to be said. And the truth is, is what the Messiah he said our Lord the Messiah is the only true God and there is no God beside him when we speak about the Trinity we are speaking about one God God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit if you are saying how God can be three and one so why we call him God why we call him Almighty? Because Almighty, he is all might, and nothing is impossible for him. What is impossible for you is not impossible for him. You better learn that. And that is my Lord. He is the one who said to the blind man, see, and he saw. He is the one who made the man who cannot walk, walk, and he walk. He is the man who walk in this earth, but yet he is God in that man. 
Jesus the Lord, the Messiah, he is the only Savior, and there's no one can save you. No step like a stone you kiss. No a God, his name is Allah, you do not even know what the name means. No heaven full of sex, that is the heaven of Satan. It's obvious. God did not open casinos and Las Vegas and a lot of hookers household. This is not the holy God. The holy God have a holy kingdom and the holy kingdom will have holy men and women and the holy men and women, they will be there living as holy for eternity. Your God is a pimp. My God is holy. Prove me wrong. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. I hope we learn something good for today. And then just ask yourself a question if you are a person first time here. Why does God is trying to tempt me with sex and money and gold and silver? If he is a truly God, can God reward me with something way more better than this? Sex? What is sex? Even sex is exists for a reason. So we can multiply and have families and society. It's not the purpose. We are not alive for sex. If you live for sex, if you worship for sex, you are nothing but semen. You are just a hormone. You are stupid. And stupidity will not make you protected from the judgment day. The day where the Messiah will come with the glory, with his glory and his angels. And he will say, bring them in front of me and slay them. You will not be slayed. He will send you to hell. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. And again, remember to find my channel. It doesn't matter where you watch my videos. You will see always in the screen patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Remember that. You can go there. You do not need to make a donation. You go to my page. You click at the last video I just posted or the last life I will go to and you will know which channel I will be in. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon.